Yeah, so so he can so he so he can see it and be exposed to it. Uh, because I ain't never seen a man get up and go to work. So I ain't go up to work. I ain't never seen a man get up and go to work. I always seen women, so I thought you were working real hard now, man. I mean, he always busy going, <laughs> blowing. I mean, all the shows and travel, yeah. feeding the community, but. Uh, that's purpose. That ain't work. Wow. You better say it now. So I enjoy this. <laughs> People don't enjoy working. It's like a football player uh, uh, at the end of the day. Uh, it's I like. We're having fun. It's like, it's, like, it's, like, it's like waking up when, when you really in purpose. Uh, it's like waking up getting ready for the Super Bowl every day. Wow. Would you say the same thing about your life, baby? Yeah. It's a, it's a movie. Like, it's just some of this stuff is just so surreal. You know, it's just sometimes it's. It doesn't even feel real, a lot of the stuff that goes on. So if every young person found that purpose, it, it reduced to me. You don't have to go, do not be legal to get money. You don't have to, uh, you, you don't have to do, does, about does, abusive. Does everybody find their purpose, though, in life? Uh-uh. I'm, I'm asking, but, but they can. They can. Of course, I think every human being is, anything, they can do anything they want. If they put their mind to it and they, and they, they, they really push the energy out there, right? But... You know, I, yeah, I, I think that if they can't... Two of y'all have employed yourself. That was a season when somebody else had to employ you to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And we employ... Somebody had to employ Oprah Winfrey. And, and we employ other people. So so I, I, I've had my... I got a friend who drives trucks. I've been able to tell him, man, quit that truck. Drive that truck and come over here. I can pay you way more than what that truck paying you. Uh, And, and so, uh, yeah, he quit that truck. <laughs> Ryan, I'm, I'm curious. I want him and Ryan to talk too, because I know Ryan is. Christian. Yeah, Ryan need him right now. Oh, uh, yeah, Ryan Garcia. Uh, yeah, Ryan Garcia needs <laughs> he him. He needs right him, now. especially in this area. I'm, I'm sure he don't. I'm sure he probably go to church, but now, nah, just now, nah, he'll be good for Ryan. Since 2006, I have been You're training down in that. Huh? Yeah, but yeah. this whole streaming again. I might have got this in my my road. You you follow your purpose. You chase your purpose, and you don't want to chase money. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say we're over a little bit. I'm right there. Okay. Are you all right there? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so now uh, a purpose. Uh, right. Man, everything everything chases the purpose. Hey. The provision, the vision, all that is in the purpose. What's up, buddy? I bought you. All right, you. You're yeah, Ryan. yeah, that's Ryan Garcia, Pastor. It's a pastor right here. I see. Okay. You, you, you don't watch the sweet signs, do you, Pastor? You oh, he don't, yeah. Pastor. You don't watch boxing. Yeah. Watch what now? Boxing? Yeah. Oh, well, he, he knows David. He knows David the Peter Goliath. He does that. That champ, a champion right here. Man, so do I need to get a picture? Perfect. Before, 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 well, pleasure to meet you. Tell me a about yourself, man. I, I'm excited to. Yeah, because I'm right next to you. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you can where do I start? Uh, I think I'm a professional fighter. I'm 20. No, I'm, oh, man, I live here now in Dallas. Oh, you do? Yeah. For good? Yeah, for good. Yeah. All right, all right. I got out of Cali, but uh, born and raised in Southern California. Come from a small town, Victorville, California. Uh, been a professional fighter, I think, about. I would say since 2016, so I don't know how long that's been. Uh, Is that a particular category? Yeah, welterweight. Yeah, uh, April 20th, I'll be fighting for the welterweight championship of the world. Uh, April 20th? Yeah. It's going down. Is that going to be televised? Yes, it will. I'm I'm you. Where are you I got you. Barclays, I'm coming. I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We got to pop out. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Where's the fight going to be? Barclays Center uh, in Brooklyn. Okay. Yeah. And who are you fighting? I'm fighting um, Devin Haney. I say Devil Haney, but... Okay. <laughs> so it's, it's, we've been talking about purpose. And Pastor really don't know who these people are. He, 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 he not, he not, he not. I don't he know who Charles Dwight is. I already. He watched football and basketball, but oh, okay. he ain't no boxing. Right. Right. I, I, I don't know, know why these people do it. Huh? There was something about you. Bro, I'm not kidding, like five hours. I let it go. Yeah, I was doing a lot of cool stuff today. It was crazy. And then when I found out there was some connections, I was like, oh my God. I didn't know you lived down there. Yeah. And bring it again. I'm still the trip with something. I said, I hear this young man, mama. Is it church out here? They should go to the prison ministry that day. That day. Because right. I think y'all got it. I got to be I'm a, I'm a live on my TikTok. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to call. So, uh, you, uh, you training with Derek James? Yeah, Derek James. Already. Yeah. You know Derek? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. In Brooklyn, New York. So, would you see this as your purpose and passion? This is what makes you wake up in the morning, what drives you? 
Well, Train hard and all that good stuff. What drives me is just basically just uh, walking in the spirit with God and letting him lead me into whatever I have to do, whether it be boxing, whether it be standing up for the things that are happening to the children across the world. Whatever it may be, my motivation is just to fulfill the will of God. So whatever that may be, if it's boxing, let me do boxing. Whatever it is, uh, I'll do it. So from a child up, as Paul says about Timothy, from a child up, his parents trained him in the scripture. From a child up, I hear both of these young men talk about the influence of that mother. Mm. Yeah, my mom. That yeah. lies, and that is amazing. So let me hear about that. So you got an encounter with Christ early on, so like. Yeah, I mean, I had a dream when I was around six years old, seven mm-hmm. years old. I was uh, fighting in heaven. Um, and then I had a lot of prophetic dreams in my life. And then I had some, like, sense of that something was pushing me everywhere. And every time I listened to that feeling when I was a kid, I progressed in life. So I knew something was calling me. And then I came to find out it was God. And then I asked God, um, what does this all mean? And then through that, it just evolved, and I understood who Christ was. Obviously, my mom is a Christian. She pushed me, obviously, into the church. But I just loved God from the the beginning. It was never hard for me to love God. And then, like I said, I had a lot of prophetic moments in my life. I had a lot of supernatural experiences with God that uh, I can no longer deny. And um, I've been anointed by God, and uh, that's it. And now I'm just moving in that everywhere I go. I don't care about anything. People have been trying to stop me from speaking the truth. I got one way street. I just live for God. That's why I can't get defeated. I can't get canceled. They can't take my money. I'm worth a hundred million at 25 years old. So like y'all can't stop what God got going. Five years old. You see the common thread here of finding that calling gift. That purpose. Passion. That's right. So some people love God, but not necessarily connected to the church. Some love God and are very much connected to the church. Yeah. And I know your profession may keep you away. I don't know. You tell me, uh, or do you see church as necessary to spiritual growth, fellowship, accountability? I feel like it's always, always should be led by the Spirit. It's never wrong to enter a Spirit-filled church. I feel that there's many churches that um, are not in the Spirit. I've been to a lot of commercialized churches that um, they don't speak in tongues. They don't even talk about it. But not only that, you, you could feel like it's more of a, a machine to you know, provide for their life. You want a life giving journey. Yes, I want miracles. Amen. I need to see that. I need people being slain in the spirit, which I, I see all the time. I need to see the real thing because I know the real thing. You can't tell me otherwise. I've seen the power of Christ. I've seen the authority when it's moved that uh, cannot be denied. So when I see a church hesitant on it, uh, I see that there's a lack of boldness in their yeah. hearts. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not, I, I spoke in the tongues on his uh, live broadcast. I went at it with some dude. And I said, yeah, these young people talking like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, uh, he, recently, he, re- he recently has been like getting into it with people because he's been exposing a lot of stuff that's going on in the world. So that's what that's what he's talking about. Like, so all three of y'all disrupted the y'all way. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is your guys' first time meeting, too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. In the right room. Yeah, right. Right. In the right room. Right. Yes, sir. <laughs> so yeah, he's he. People try to come at him, and people try to cancel. I think all three of us actually. So uncancelable. Yeah. Yeah. So your first praise the Lord. Leading Lord. towards yeah. boxing, yeah. you discovered yeah. boxing was maybe in your future was. What age? Uh, right when I put the gloves on, like seven years old. Yeah, I knew that. Um, is, is that from watching TV? Oscar I just wanted a sport that was one on one. I hated playing with um, with the team because you know I just felt as a young kid they didn't push as hard as I did. So I asked my uncle, "Is there a sport one on one?" He showed me boxing. I say, "Say less." And then from there, I just became a 15-time national champion and uh, was on the Olympic team, went pro at 17, uh, and then just took off. Yeah. I've been at this for a minute. You have. I've known for a few years. That's I knew you didn't watch boxing. Cause uh, I knew yeah. If you watched boxing, you would have known right off. If my energy is low, it's because I've been training all day. Yeah, you uh, told me you were training. He's locked yeah. in right now. locked yeah. in. So That yeah. fight's in a month. One month out. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, so I've been uh, whooping ass and just training four times a day. Non-stop. Uh, shit, I'm tired a little bit. Excuse <laughs> my language. Man. Yeah. yeah, I got all them young fighters here to see it too, man. So okay. I got a few Let's Golden Glove see. champions over okay, there and okay. all this, man. What's up, Good morning. There you go. Yeah. He, he looks like he's hungry to fight. Yeah, you yeah. see? Yeah. <laughs>
scope. <laughs> oh, he's look hungry too. Yeah, all them, all them fight. Even little girl, man. All that's a family okay. fighter. That's oh, a nice. father that trains all his sons. He okay. homeschooled them. A uh, very respectable young man. Reminds me of when I was coming up. I just saw a video of you and your brother, and somebody was interviewing you. I think you're at like some high school. You had a beanie on. You know what video I'm talking about? It just popped up on my for you page. No, he didn't. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> he was wearing a legit beanie. He was? Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Really long time ago. Just put on when your head get cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A beanie, not a, not a Jewish hat. But the fit is Where's your arms at? I'm not wearing it today. I got you. He said I'm not wearing it. I got you. Uh, Bob Mitzvah. I never had one, by the way. You never had a Bar Mitzvah? I'm going to have one at 25. That's when Drake had his. Drake, Drake had his in the Hell, Hell Yeah F and Right video. Is Drake the, is he a singer? Or, who is Drake? Who is Drake? You don't know who Drake is? Golly, Pastor. Sure. No, he, he, he one of the world's biggest rappers. Yeah, they, yeah. yeah. He, so, matter of fact, matter of fact, he might be I the world's biggest. I think some of his songs done top Michael Jackson, so, if I'm not mistaken. Some would say he think, is the biggest so he, over he, Jay-Z. He, he's Jewish? He's, 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 he's half. He's, 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 he's half Jewish, yeah. He's, well, half. he's black and he's Jewish. His dad's black and his mom's Jewish. Okay, I think I may have heard the name, but that. Was he married? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no, don't know. worry about it. They know. Tell me about there's no way he's bigger than Michael Jackson. Well, no, he got a song on top of the charts that, that reached Michael right. Jackson. I, I, I agree with you. But if they, if they, no, no but, but we know enough. If, if they had, enough. if they had streaming back in the day, Michael would have been. Oh yeah, that's he true. He broke the internet. Though. He would have broke all the records. Bob Mitzvah is what just intrinsic in Jewish. Culture. It's when you become a man. Oh, I, I understand. I studied it. Well, not in depth, but enough to get a feel for how it's missing from the black community. Amen. I don't think we have Rise enough fresh. to coming of age. to the Bob mm-hmm. Mitzvah. Mm-hmm. And my wife and I used to preach at a church in Vegas a lot, and the only non-gambling hotel in Vegas at the time, may still be, would be, uh, is that the Four Seasons, next door to the Mandalay Bay? And that's where the church put me where I stayed. But, but we were walking from the Mandalay Bay, because I want to go there and just kind of see what's going on over there. And uh, on the way back, I saw yeah, Bob Mitzvah going on. Yeah, like and I asked, I walked in and said, can I come in? And the lady whose son was going through the bar, she said, well, I have to talk with my, with the grandfather. He came and interviewed me, wanted to know why I wanted to come and I was trying to understand what makes me successful. Here was what I was going to say to you earlier. At one point, there were only three Jewish males in prison. Mm. Only three in the state of Florida, in the state of Florida. Oh, my God. And so the, it's something the Jewish culture is doing that keeps Jews from going to prison at the same level as the Hispanics and Blacks and oh, this Angles. Is a question. Are going. <laughs> you ready I'm thinking Bob Mitchell. <laughs> listen, I'm thinking, let me tell you what I saw in that Bob Mitchell. Yeah. A 13 to 14 year old kid, that's all it. They, yeah. they find it after right. interviewing me, they yeah. said, well, we'll let you get it. I wanted to learn. But they said, you're yeah. going to have to wear what I thought was a big, they made me put yeah. on the hat. Yeah. 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 The yarmulke? Yeah. The yarmulke. Yeah. Yeah. Now, they asked, those kids had to recite tons of scriptures, right. so like Pastor Bob Mitzvah. Oh, wow. They had to talk about their family history. They had their friends and family that basically said, you, you were meant for Yale, not for jail. They, they, it was amazing to me what at 13, those kids had to demonstrate. It was, you talk about going up to the party, you got, somebody got 305 go. folk at the party. Man, that room probably had 300 folk in there. And I saw, this might explain but Jews tend to be owners. <laughs> they might, they might uh, commit a lot of adultery time, but they don't get divorced. And the reason they don't get divorced because they want to pass the wealth down. Generational wealth. To all these folks over here. <laughs> so, so, okay. I hope that wasn't stereotyping. No, it's not stereotyping because it's true. A lot of Jews own a lot of things yeah. in the world, right? Um, yeah. So, <laughs> how, how does Bob Mitzvah, uh, ex- uh, does it factor to the success more so than other races into Jewish. Community. I just think it's a it's a tradition, just like how you know the Hispanic community has quinces, right? Something like that. Like yeah, that's the sixteen year old girls coming. That's when a girl becomes sixteen. Yeah, they rented our church to do that. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, like, did your family members have quince? Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, I got that for you. I never. Oh, you got me this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We take a break right quick. Oh, just, just, just quick, just yeah. quick break. Yeah. So, so, what is this? He's going all the way. 
This is celebrity painting, man. Yeah, I told celebrity you. Celebrity artist, man. Be white. Got a painting for you, man. Oh, wow. And it's wow, crazy, bro, because it wasn't even really done. You know what I'm saying? I had to run home, finish those little finishing touches on it, but you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's uh, tough, bro. Damn. You, right, though, you know what I'm saying? You but, painted that yourself. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Be White. Shout out, Be White. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, so they can go in the warehouse, man. I got Yeah, <laughs> thanks, huh? Yeah, I told him, he was, I said, man, you got to give me something for Aiden, man. He'll be in the town next week. So, yeah, he went over here and put it together. When I knock out Devin Haney, I need one, too. I got no, no, you got one now. You had yours before, before the weekend. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I got you. We get a picture with you. For sure, bro. Let's do it. That's it. Powerful moment, yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, I got your own. Because I've been trying to get all this ready for this week. So we had a week. Yeah, so I think it's Cool. Thank you, bro. Seriously, I appreciate it. That's why. I think I get a little drop from you. A little what? Be white. Be white. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm at your hair, man. All right. One, two, three. Shout out to Be White. Be White on top. Cool. Got you, bro. Got you, brother. Appreciate you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, man. Thanks, Charleston. You got a, you got a call to work, man? So, so you take a break right quick? Yeah, so we, I say you three go on the sprinter and go talk. Me, Ryan, and Charleston? All right, come on, let's go out there. All right, let's do it. Do you mind if I get that bag so I can bring it back? Martin. Oh, Tav. Awesome, brother. Thank you. Let me get a picture of the three. Oh, yeah. All right, bitch. Y'all want to get a picture right quick? Hmm? Hold on for you. Ah, oh, she don't need to run. No, no, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna okay. come back. Yeah. Hold on. Oh. Cool. Can I get one wish? Yeah. Appreciate it. Hey, be white. You buy the number two. Thank you guys so much for everything. Appreciate all you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate all of you being here home. We're just going to go in the sprinter real quick. You. Okay. Thank you, Gary. What's up, man? He looks tough. I get it with the little box. <laughs> Good luck. Give me a picture. Everybody ready? One, two, three. Right. One, two, three, hitting Ross off. <laughs> <laughs> I want to crack so many jokes here. In the van. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm, guys, mm -hmm. It's going to be bad for you. Really? Nah, nah. Oh, okay. Nah, nah, nah. nah. That face was crazy. You made him here. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, All guys. Right. Hey, yeah, that's Look right. Look at Let him know. Chance? Let's go. Top Gunner right here. Next chance. He broke pain. He's the next chance. Let's see the combo. I ain't seen you fight yet. Look, you know what you're doing, though. Charles is left out already? He's, he's going to beat us out there, yeah. Okay, pass the one to get a picture. I can use that. We're going to come back in. Oh, y'all are? Yeah, we're going to come right back in. Okay. Here, Jordy, you want to come back in? We'll get your picture. You been alright, bro? Of course, you good. I didn't know you lived in Dallas. Yeah. Nah, you three just in the sprinter just chop it up. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to uh, get a word in. Be you. Since you're sad, uh. No, of course. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going in here real quick. I'm gonna go in here real quick. I'm saying I'm gonna come outside. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna go in here real quick. I'm gonna come outside. Oh yeah, some snacks. I don't know. Here. uh... Ryan, you sit right here. Yeah, you sit right here next day, then, Ryan. Yeah, for sure. Chop it up. I need some chips. You want Charleston right here? Yeah. All right. You guys got the snacks. I'm not even having here right now. I mean, I'm not. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm finna pick your brain, Ryan. You really think you can beat Devin? For sure. I, yeah. 100%. I fought him six times already. Oh, real? Yeah. I beat him three times. But you guys have fought before? I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm betting my money on Ryan. Because, you know, I bet money on these, on these events. Yeah. yeah. Chat, who y'all got, got? Ryan or uh, Haney? I'm going with Haney. <laughs> I don't know what You know why? I'm, hey. I'm betting on Jesus. Nah, Chad's saying Ryan. I'm betting on Jesus. 50-50 right now. Yeah, I'm betting on the Jesus-loving kid compared nah, to... Nah, Chad. Ryan, Ryan. <laughs> 